Um, we actually spoke about genomic imprinting in our previous lectures. And um, we said that it's a beautiful process, right? So actually trying to look at if this process does not actually work or call as it should, what are the possible disorders that could actually result from this? Okay, so disorders associated with what? Genomic imprinting. Disorders associated with genomic imprinting. Um, so that disorders associated with genomic imprinting, all right? So, so that in these hereditary disorders, examples is just Prada Willis and the Angel Man Syndrome, all right? We're just trying to have an overview before we go in, all right? Um, in these hereditary disorders, different phenotypes occur depending on whether an abnormal gene is from the mother or from the father, all right? So now it is also thought that epigenic, uh, epigenetic changes occurring during gametogenesis uh, mark at least some genes as either maternal or paternal origin and can modify and later ex okay can modify the later expression of these genes when they are passed to the next generation. Now such marking is what referred to as genomic imprinting. All right. Now, the most likely explanation for this phenomenon is differing levels of what DNA methylation in female and male gonads, and this will make certain genes non-active, okay, not to be able to transcribe. So, looking at, um, we said that this phenomenon is illustrated by two rare syndromes in which the same cytogenetic deletion, as deletion of what, 15, Q11, Q13. And this will result in different phenotypes in the progeny, uh, progeny depending on whether the deletions were transmitted from the father or from the mother. So the first one is paternal. Is if it is from the father, you have the prada willi syndrome. Okay, it is characterized by what hypogonadism, the hyperphagia, the hypo. Not really clear. I think we should go with what we have here. So uh, we have hypogonadism, that's your gonads are not really functioning optimally. We have the hypotonia, we have mental retardation. You see how this guy is looking like, he's not looking like a normal person. All right. Then uh, we have behavioral problems and uncontrolled appetite leading to obesity and diabetes. All right. Then if the transmission is from the mother, right? Transmission is from the mother, that's where you have the angel man syndrome, all right? And it sometimes refers to the happy puppet. Happy puppet meaning that the person will just always look happy, all right? People with this angel man syndrome always look happy. And um, it is also characterized by what mental retardation, but it's additionally what characterized by ataxia, seizures, and what inappropriate laughter, just happy for no reason. That's what they call them, happy puppet. In some instances, this condition is associated with what, alterations in what genes involved in what ibuquitin, what proteasome system. All right. So, guys, as it about disorders associated with what genomic imprinting, we have the Angelman syndrome and we have the Prada-Willi syndrome. Take